I just did this post on five of my favorite Cardano projects and it's going viral thanks to you. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what was I talking about and what are these ETH and Solana equivalents with these crazy high market caps and what do these market caps mean for my favorite Cardano projects? Do we have some 100 or even 200 X's in the works? quite possibly everybody. So right here you can see Cardano has a great ecosystem of solid projects that many don't know about. I've identified five solid projects alongside their equivalents so you don't have to. These market discrepancies will shock you and I see tremendous upside. So first thing we're going to look at here is a D-pin play in this communication arm of the compute storage communication D-pin narrative, and it is World Mobile Token. It has the second largest market cap of all CNTs. CNTs are Cardano native tokens, and I'm finding these on Tap Tools, where you can see the whole list of Cardano native assets here. A uh, really, really strong uh, website to use. Really, really good for identifying movers. And if we look at the top gainers in the top uh, 24 hours, you'll see a lot of projects we've been talking about. Out. And two of them, three of them are going to be on this list from the top 10. So if we go back here, you can see World Mobile Token is a competitor kind of with Helium. Helium is also a communications play. You can see it's a decentralized wireless infrastructure. World Mobile Token also doing the same thing, uh, more focus on cellular access for uh, people who don't have that type of access. Sometimes in a first world country, we can forget how much infrastructure is needed in some of these other countries. And so Helium has a $900 million market cap. Uh, you look right here. Two thirds of the tokens have been released. Uh, so fully diluted is about $1.2 billion. But when you go to World Mobile Token, you can see $176 million market cap. So we're looking at pretty, pretty high upside here. That's a 5X for it to reach market cap parity. What does World Mobile Token do? Connect the unconnected by, by providing mobile service worldwide using the token to operate and earn. So if you go ahead and provide access, you earn World Mobile Token. Uh, they got a lot of partnerships and some, uh, say, you know, we're seeing uh, some rumors of some Starlink integration. And so really, really exciting things coming from World Mobile Token. And if you look right here, one of the top gainers in the past week, actually the top gainer uh, of all Cardano tokens. So a very, very hot token, but it's a little bit overbought right now. But the community has identified this is a strong project. All right, let's go to number two here. What token are we looking at? It is the number one meme coin on Cardano. I'm talking about Snake Coin. I'm holding up a can of their energy drink right here. This is the Blue Citrus. You don't have to speak parcel tongue to drink it, although I heard it makes it taste better. Uh, this actually has a very small market cap for being the number one meme coin on all of Cardano. And if you remember, Cardano's a top 10 token. And so I expect Snake Coin to eventually hit top 10 in all the meme coins. So Doge, I did a Doge equivalent here. I think this may be a little bit moon mathy. Doge has a $24 billion market cap. Snake is less than 100 million. You're looking at a 250X. So, okay, all right, super, super high because it's really only 89 million. Let's reel it in, okay? DZ's getting a little moon math, all right? That's all right. Let's 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 not compare it to Doge. Let's compare it to the top meme coin on Solana, and that is Bonk. We look at Bonk. Bonk had a nice heyday here. I actually I actually took profit back there as long I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, but now, you know, Bonk is putting up some numbers. If I scroll up a little bit, you can see, you know, Kinda maybe setting up for another coil. Uh, we putting in a little bit higher lows. Uh, you can see we dipped a little bit lower. So we, we do have higher lows. And not only that, we're kind of playing around with this previous point of control. So Bonk could actually be a, on the move soon, which might carry a lot of the other meme coins with it. Bonk's market cap is $1.4 million. Snake coming in less than $100 million. So you're looking at a 15x if Snake were to hit Bonk's market cap. So Snake, a lot of upside for Snake as well. Snake. Let me make sure I say it correctly. Snake. Uh, they're going to come after me if I keep calling it Snake. So, uh, yeah, they got a lot of things going on. Really good job of building the brand. They've reached out to George, a.k.a. Cryptos R Us. They've reached, uh, I see Ivan on tech talking about it as well. They got a Snake bot, which is similar to the Bonk bot. And they got the energy drink. So a lot of stuff going on with Snake. I love the taste. This isn't refrigerated, so I don't want to drink a warm energy drink. But I've drank it. I've done the reviews live. It's it's a good drink. Uh, really, really good. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like a blue lemonade flavor, if, if if I had to say. All right, now let's do number three. It is the D-pin play. 
Filecoin of Cardano. Doesn't that sound bullish? The Filecoin of Cardano. Well, what is Filecoin worth? Filecoin has a very, very high market cap here. Four and a half billion dollars. Fully diluted over 15 billion, 16 billion dollar market cap. Why do I like Iagon official? the Filecoin of Cardano. Uh, they're looking to tackle the storage issues in the ecosystem, and people are sleeping on how bad the storage issue is going to get in the near future. I think there's three main catalysts that are really going to disrupt uh, storage. Number one, nodes are going to become larger and larger. You see Bitcoin ordinals, it's harder than ever to run a Bitcoin node. We're seeing that on many chains, Solana and a bunch of others. And so it's going to become harder to run these uh, nodes, meaning you're going to need a little bit more compute, a little bit more storage. Also, AI. More and more AI means more and more resources being used across the entire ecosystem. And so you have nodes becoming larger, you have AI, and then the third and final catalyst here is video quality increasing. As we go to 8K and beyond, it's just a lot more data to watch your Netflix show, to watch that tweet, to watch that TikTok, or to watch that video. And so I've talked to the founder, love the team, Filecoin market cap, 4.4 billion, Iagon market cap, 75 million. I did the math, you're looking at a 60x potential upside here. Now, very, very bullish on Iagon. All right, let's go to number four. We only got two left, and number five is the most lucrative potentially here, but number four is MinSwap. It is a DEX play. This is the top DEX of Cardano. I got a little bit of recency bias. It's the one I've been using a long time. I also like Hunt, you know, Car Sunday. There, there's other DEXs, but I like MinSwap. Min lets you swap, stake, and participate in the governance. I've used it for a long, long time. This is what the website looks like. If you go to here, uh, you'll have to hit uh, app after that, launch app, and it'll be app.minswap.org. Uh, really, really cool website. It lets you trade. Uh, you jump in some liquidity pools. It lets you earn off those pools. Got really good APY for a lot of stuff here. Um, you can see there I'm staking a little min myself. If I take it off coins I'm not staking, see, I'm already putting it to work for me. It allows you to put the coins to work for you. Look at the APR on ADA, A-G-I-X. So a lot of it coming from the trading fees. So they're sharing more of the trading fees. It's not so much just tokens being dumped by a team. SNCC, 35%. Uh, I have another wallet where I'm staking AGIX and SNCC as well. So very, very bullish on MinSwap. Now if we go back to the uh, tweet here. The top competitor is Uniswap. Uniswap has a $8 billion market cap. MinSwap, $38 million. You ready for that moon math, everybody? You're looking at over a 200x if we were to hit that market cap parity. But that, I feel, is a little bit too bullish. I'm going to come in with a little bit more of a conservative estimate for you for MinSwap, and that would be uh, me comparing MinSwap to Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is the top DEX on Solana right now. You know, some may say Radium, but I think Jupiter's got all the attention. Jupiter has a $1.8 billion market cap. How many times can $39 million go into $1.8 billion? Well, I've already did the math here. I'll punch it in again. We go ahead and divide this by $39 million, see what we're going to get here. And that gives you a whopping 46x. So you're looking close to a 50x if MinSwap can hit Jupiter's market cap. Now, as we get closer to the bull run, Jupiter's market cap is going to continue to go up. I think Jupiter can hit, I think it can touch 5 billion. You see fully diluted, Jupiter has a $13 billion market cap. So MinSwap hitting 1.8 billion, really not outside of the realm of possibility, especially if Uniswap is jumping from 10 to 20, $30 billion market cap. So Uniswap has a $30 billion market cap. Why can't MinSwap have a $1.8 billion market cap? So tremendous upside for MinSwap. If I had to say anything bad about it, you know, there is going to be selling pressure from the Min liquidity pool. You can see the APR actually not that high. We're not looking at 240%. So really not as bad a selling pressure as it could be. Now for number five, I said it's going to be the most lucrative. It is certainly my favorite and it is Book.io. They're tackling the publishing world with books and then plan to branch into other mediums. They're already doing audiobooks. Some, you know, I've heard some rumors about music. Who knows what could happen after that? You know, maybe even uh, TV shows, movie, you know, 
film. Uh, who, who knows what kind of media they might start branching into, but why am I bullish? They have a centralized exchange listing happening in four days. Credit card support is coming. EVM Bridge, you might not know, you can mint on Polygon as well. Uh, and then they also have Read to Earn. I love Read to Earn. I think Read to Earn is going to be a major narrative. If we do think crypto is rolled into any kind of educational format with public schools, oh, they got to teach crypto in the schools. They got to teach these kids about Bitcoin. They got to stop teaching them algebra. I think read to earn will actually be a real way we see crypto integrated into school. It's going to be some sort of a token member scholastic book fairs. Remember you show up to school and you'd uh, buy fancy erasers, buy that, buy that cool book, get that goosebumps, uh, you know, get that a uh, little audio thing, uh, whatever little toy, a yo-yo. Uh, so imagine rewarding kids in crypto that they could then spend at a scholastic book fair style thing, or maybe they even trade it in a Bitcoin. Oh, how bullish would that be? Imagine graduating high school and college is already paid for. Why? Because your accelerator reader points gave you crypto. You took self-custody bought some Bitcoin, maybe bought some book. And then next thing you know, you know, uh, we're actually teaching financial freedom to our kids. That would be fantastic. But book, I love book. I love everything that they're doing. A competitor would be Audio. Audio is Audius, if you haven't heard about it. And Audius is looking at a $326 million market cap, pretty much fully diluted, so around 330. Let's just uh, round down and say 300 million. So book only has a market cap of 40 million. If we were to round up to 3325, you're looking at an 8x for a $320 million. So 8x close to a 10x. And then this is no joke, everybody. I'm a big, big fan of Cardano Whale. Cardano Whale is one of this is one of his favorite projects. He's one of my favorite Cardano influencers. This is no secret, but I'm so bullish on Book.io, it hurts. And I'm not even talking about a token or an NFT or even financial gains. I'm talking about what they are building and their understanding of the space. Maybe the biggest project in all of crypto right now. Are you bullish? Because you're not bullish enough on this coin is my opinion here. So uh, I think there's tremendous upside. I actually think not only could it hit 325, I think it could actually surpass the audio token. I think it could surpass Audius. Mark Cuban is a seed investor in this. Uh, they also have some centralized exchange uh, coming soon after uh, you know the first listing. I, I know they're in several talks here. They have BookCon happening April 20th. I'm going to go to that as well. Uh, Charles Hoskinson is going to speak there, so I assume Charles is a fan of this protocol as well. So do not sleep on Book. I think there's tremendous upside for this. If it were to do an 8x, you're looking around 30 cents. I, I honestly, I, I think 50 cents a dollar is actually possible with this project. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing do a 25X in the next 12 to 24 months. Very, very bullish on book. Uh, and then the market cap right here, you see that's not actually accurate. Let's give you the actual number here. We scroll down. That's why I love uh, tap tools. They're just such a great resource. Uh, we go ahead and market cap uh, ranking here. And you can see 41 million exactly. So, uh, you know, be a little bit careful when you're looking at some of these smaller tokens on CoinGecko. They might give you uh, inaccurate numbers. Saw it with Charlie token, the C3 token as well. Uh, but these are five very, very strong projects I'm very bullish about on Cardano. I think there's tremendous upside, and I don't think people are ready for the gains that are about to come to this ecosystem. Cardano might be boring now, but it doesn't stay boring for long. I'm DZ, and I'll see you in your Ada bags at the top.